Black and Greg Vegan Camp, the 1st of October 2022. A lot of water all around. Today's breakfast. Smoothie, oats, flaxseed, cinnamon. So the smoothie is banana, lime and mango. Sandbags for the river. The little river we have here in Lee, in the village of Van Homto. It's overflowing its edges and going into houses is not so cool. Normally this, uh, this river is like, sometimes there's no water here at all in the dry season. It's like you can walk on the bottom. Now it's like, I don't know how many meters we are, we have here. I probably, how many meters do you think like? I don't know, I cannot count it. You cannot count it? That's so, too, too, I think four or, give it. My, yes, my child. I think there's about five, maybe five, six meters. But people here say 20 meters. From the compost area. So here is a random pumpkin growing, for example. New metal bench or shelf for the big water tank. Last time it was standing on like bricks and the bricks broke and the whole th wood construction broke. So now we're trying with uh, steel construction. We need to clean the tank and apply the new pipes and then it's ready to run. We have started changing the, the natural roof made of some kind of grass because it's just a lot of dirt inside and it needs to be changed every, every other year because otherwise it will just be very dirty. We tried this because I thought it would be nice and natural and stuff but now it's enough and all the roofs will be made of like uh, steel sheets maybe in the future even higher quality but for now this is uh, these steel sheets are, are quite nice and oh I think they will last for maybe 10, 10 or more years so that's and also they're not as dirty and it's just easier to get by and also cover burn the bamboo if necessary here are the the last pumpkins we think I think it's a huge harvest I mean we've been eating pumpkin every day red cavendish coming up it's really nice this I really love this red cavendish. It's really a successful planting. They're shooting up new ones and ready for move move them somewhere else. And but otherwise, it's a huge plant and it's just very nice. Another random compost pile. What what I hope we can do is to not only have the because we already have like the pumpkins growing around, and then when they are finished, we will have the the area over there. Uh, where the beans will come which is super nice too and and I hope that we can like incorporate more like areas with um, compost so we can grow more other other kinds of plants because it will increase the biodiversity and the health of the of the whole garden of the mangoes that would be awesome this is how it looks when the beans really kick off because of the lot of rain a lot of water they're just climbing up the mango trees which is also pretty cool last episode i was talking about this cool papaya tree fortunately i was talking about oh, i hope that it will not fall and break but it fortunately it fell and broke and we were we are trying to support it so we can save some of these papayas because they're really nice but as you can see there's not much hope for for this papaya i mean it can still live for some time maybe give the last fruits because the, some of the roots are still intact but like a big chunk of the tree is like rotting and getting eaten and it's just like not so cool but maybe the, the ants will take care of all the other nasty termites or whatever termites love to eat these papaya trees but yeah we lost a lot of papayas but uh, they're still some left here and fortunately the others are doing well 
especially this one is also like looks really great raining a lot it rained almost all night and they started announcing at five o'clock in the morning so it was like okay there, that there is like a flood a few people come but it's like completely dark you cannot see anything again at seven announcing again yeah uh, you can next clip you can see how it sounds when they're announcing in the village they, they have like a uh, speakers around and then they just that's how uh, they give messages around in the village like a, this is like a village community so if there's something happening in the village and people need help uh, the community will help that's that's uh, a nice thing I just picked this papaya from the tree and it's not overripe but it has some kind of fungus growing on it or some kind of other sickness and this is I would just throw it in the compost and if you have papayas like this, it's a good thing to remove them from the tree so they don't spread the disease to the other healthy papayas. This, is, this normally only happens when it's very moist and uh, rains a lot. Here we also have increased the amount of stone in the entrance so it's easier to go in and out in a car. And it is still Christmas in Thailand. Well, I'm changing the roof. Lek is making banana palm curry from a young banana. So you just use the inner part of the banana. Can I see how it looks from the top? So it's sticky. I need to wash it or soak it in the water before we can use it. So also some parts if they are too hard they need to go off. So it's only the tender parts. All kinds of vegan stuff inside. Some evil soy protein and some uh, macrut lime. Leaf. Macrut, yeah macrut leaf and uh, then this one and why is it a little bit red? You put ketchup in? No it's chili paste. You can put ketchup in if you want. So that was after cooking, boiling for a little bit, 10 minutes. It's everything is a little bit soft or not too soft, soft a little bit soft. And then the last ingredient is the, just before it's finished, then just put some basil inside. Set and... okay. Aroy ma! Aroy tisut! <laughs>